Good morning, I'm doing another watch review. Uh, this time of um, a bit of a cool classic, which is not made anymore. An Amiga Seamaster 300 2254.50. Uh, that's just a reference Amiga gave it, but essentially it's a Seamaster 300. Um, very similar to the Bond Seamaster, however it comes with a, a different strap. Um, not the traditional Seamaster strap, but this, very similar to the, it might actually be the same as the Speedmaster strap. It's certainly the older Speedmaster strap. Um, I believe Amiga made this watch between the year 2001 and I think it was discontinued sort of late 2008, early 2009. It's hugely popular. Um, they command quite big prices um, for what is essentially a, a pretty basic um, ETA movement watch, but still a fantastic watch and a workhorse of a watch. Um, I think the final retail price was 1390. Um, in the UK uh, before it was discontinued um, and these command upwards of that now um, to pick up one like this in, in good condition this is a 2007 you're probably looking between 12 and 1500 if you're lucky and uh, dealers if you're going to a watch shop or a dealer you're probably going to pay in excess of 17, 1800 pounds now, I think that's a, that's a hell of a lot of money for this, but to be honest, the prices of these are only going one way, um, which is up, obviously. So it is, it is stainless steel strap, um, stainless steel case. The size of it, it's 41 mil, which is a, a lovely size for most people's um, wrists. The dial, which I've done, if you can make out, has a lovely sort of wavy effect. Just see if I can get in on that. Oh, that's not gonna work. Uh, see if you can just make that out. That is lovely. It's got like a wavy dial effect, which I really like. Um, and it'd be nice to see Amiga bring that back, actually. Uh, 300 meter water resistance or 30 bar, which is obviously 300 meters or 1,000 feet. So it's um, it is a diving watch. It's chronometer. It has a date function, um, and the of course synonymous helium escape valve, which you'll never use. Uh, unidirectional rotating bezel. Uh, inside this watch is the Amiga uh, caliber 1120. Uh, which is a self-winding chronometer with rhodium plated finish and it comes with a 44 hour power reserve. The crystal is domed and anti-reflective um, and it is obviously sapphire crystal. It's a great watch. It is, I know I always say this with every watch that I review but it really is one of my favourite watches. Um, the reason for that is it is reasonably cheap to buy now I'm not one to say that watches are a good investment, but if you buy this watch for say 1200 quid, um, one in this condition of this age, <clears throat> you'll never lose on that. And if you want a daily beater that can look good with a suit, look good with jeans and a t-shirt, timeless design, which I think this has, with a workhorse movement, the actual movement, although it's highly decorated by Amiga, it is actually an ETA movement 2892.2, which is a great performer. It's a reliable movement, which any competent watchmaker can service for you. Um, now you're going to send if you send this to a media, you're probably going to pay 370 quid to get it serviced, um, which I would recommend because it will come back looking brand new. However, if it's like this and it's in pretty good condition, you take it to your local watchmaker, maybe 150 quid, you can get the service. Um, a full service of the movement and you're probably good to go for another three to five years. The parts, uh, Amiga restricted parts, um, so you will find some watch dealers uh, and watch people that have parts for this watch but I think they're, they're slowly drying up so you may have to source them from uh, Amiga in the future, in the near future, which will obviously bump up the cost. Now accuracy wise I would say this watch is very accurate it's, it's a bit bizarre, sometimes it loses three or four seconds, sometimes it gains three or four seconds, 
Um, so on the whole, you don't tend to lose a lot of time or gain any time. Um, it's a bit odd, really, in that respect. But but very accurate. Um, I've not had it serviced. I believe it was regulated uh, a few years back now. Uh, it probably is due for a service, which I'll, I'll have to consider in the near future. Um, everyone on the watch forums, uh, and I have to agree, complains about what you know. Why Amiga discontinued this watch? And I have to agree, it is absolutely gorgeous. It is just such a lovely looking watch. You know, the design, the, the, they're called the sword hands, um, which are great. It, I mean, it looks quite similar to a sub. It is, it is great. It really is. Um, and I just can't help but think if Amiga bring out a watch very similar to this and maybe put a ceramic bezel on it, it will be a massive, massive seller. You imagine this with an in-house movement, ceramic bezel, um, very similar bracelet but screws rather than pins so it's a bit more sturdy you, you're onto a winner there and you retail that for three and a half to four and a half thousand I'd certainly go out and buy it and I'm sure a lot of other people would the only downside with this that I can think of is the bezel although this one is in quite good condition um, a lot of the used ones are marked up they do mark up quite easily um, and it's not a cheap replacement you can't just replace the the, the bezel here you have to it comes as one part so it's the the steel and the bezel it comes as one and you're looking at 300 pounds just for that part which is um, a hell of a lot really um, when you consider you can pick up a, a Rolex bezel for 60 70 quid insert the way Amiga have designed this unfortunately you can't just buy the insert you have to buy the whole bezel, metal and insert if that makes sense um, other cons, I can't really think of any it's cheap, it looks great um, it's a great investment they're going up in value all the time um, if you like the program Ray Donovan um, Ray Donovan wears this watch, not this particular watch, he wears the 2264 which is this watch but the uh, quartz version, so the battery version rather than the mechanical it really is fantastic. So hats off to Amiga. They designed a true classic in this uh, in this watch. And if any of you out there are thinking of pulling the trigger on one of these, I would definitely recommend it. You can't really go wrong. Cheap to maintain, very accurate, looks great, um, and will keep increasing in value over the years. So I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the quite quick review. I will be doing another one. Uh, either the end of this week or early next week I've got mine and another watch which I'm looking to buy um, so I'll do a video of that and a few of the bits and pieces thanks for watching, bye bye